bringing old ships to life. Hello everybody, it's Jamie from Old Shipping Lines and welcome back to a new video. And welcome back to a new What If. I'm very hyped for this one. In the What If of today, we shall talk about what if the RMS Empress of Ireland didn't sink? So, of course, first we shall cover her history. She was owned by the Canadian Pacific Line and would be built by the shipbuilders Fairfield Shipbuilding and Engineering Company. So, her gross tonnage would be 14.191 gross registered tons with a length of 570 feet and with a beam of 65.7 feet now the power of this fine vessel would come from quadruple expansion steam engines and she would have had screw propellers giving the ship a speed of 18 knots. Now the Armes Empress of Ireland would have had a sister ship, the Armes Empress of Britain. The Empress of Ireland would be launched on 27 January 1906. The Empress of Ireland departed Liverpool for Quebec City on her maiden voyage on first day 29 June 1906 and her life would be quite successful however disaster struck on 29 May 1914 when the vessel the SS Storstad collided with the RMS Empress of Ireland leading to its sinking in less than 14 minutes and the loss of over 1012 lives. Now here is where we start with the what if. So I have two theories and these are my opinions of course. On the night of 29 May 1914 the waters were foggy when the Storstad and the Empress of Ireland collided. But what if they had not? What if the Storstad had passed in front of the Empress, without contact? Disaster would have been avoided, much to the relief of both crews. The Empress of Ireland would have continued on to her destination, and passengers would have been informed the next morning of what had occurred. The Empress of Ireland arrived safely at her port, but the tale of the close call between the Storstad and the Empress would remain throughout the ship's career. At the start of World War I in 1914, the Admiralty took charge of the RMS Empress of Ireland and her sister ship, the RMS Empress of Britain. The Empress of Britain was converted into a troop ship, while the Empress of Ireland was transformed into a hospital ship. In the years of World War I, the Empress of Ireland faithfully served as a hospital ship alongside the HMHS Britannic and the new Cunarder, the HMHS Aquitania. She would provide service to the Allied forces during this dark time, providing comfort, aid and care to those in need. Now, after the war, the Empress of Ireland sailed once again as a passenger liner for the Canadian Pacific Line. And her amazing interiors quickly won the hearts of her passengers. People were captivated by the luxurious design, exquisite artwork and exquisite features of the ship. 
making it one of the most beloved vessels of the Canadian Pacific Line. So this is where this what if will split in two ways. And please let me know in the comments which one you liked the most. So for this first one. The Armes Empress of Ireland sailed well into the 1920s. But by the late 1920s and early 1930s, newer ships were built, such as the SS Bremen and the Armes Queen Mary, among many others. These new ships came with increased speeds. For example, the SS Bremen had a top speed of 27 knots. So the RMS Empress of Ireland was a beloved ship, but her age was showing. Its top speed of 18 knots was no match for the newer, faster ships of the era. As a result, Fewer and fewer people chose to book tickets on the Empress, opting instead for the newer vessels. This decline went on until early 1935, when the Canadian Pacific Line announced that the Empress of Ireland would be scrapped. 12 April 1935 the Armes Empress of Ireland would join the White Star Liner, the Old Reliable, the Armes Olympic in the scrapyard, marking the end of the Empress. Now for this second theory of this what if, the Armes Empress of Ireland would continue to sail in the 1930s. But her age would show, and in 1938 there were talks about scrapping the Empress of Ireland. However, World War II would begin, and the RMS Empress of Ireland would serve once again. This time as a troop ship, carrying troops in the early years of the war. However, in 1943, on one of her trooping voyages in a convoy, she would be spotted by a German U-boat. Again, she could go 18 knots, making her a fine target for the U-boat, which fired two torpedoes at the Empress. Both torpedoes hit, and the crew knew that this was the end for the Empress. So they called the order to abandon ship. The crew and the soldiers would man the boats, and many would get off the sinking vessel. However, there would be some deaths on board the Empress of Ireland. In just 15 minutes, the vessel would roll onto its starboard side and sink beneath the waves. And that is the end to this what if of the RMS Empress of Ireland. I highly enjoyed making this one. Uh, the Empress of Ireland is my number one favorite ship. Uh, of course, this is my opinion of what I think would have happened if she didn't sink. But please let me know in the comments what you uh, think would have happened if the Empress of Ireland didn't sink. Uh, I quickly want to take a moment to thank all of you, my subscribers. It blows my mind every time that so many of you, that so many of you actually like and enjoy my content. So thank you. Uh, if you have any friends who like ocean liners or ships, Please show them my channel, that would help out a lot. Uh, again, if you have any thoughts or comments on this video, please leave them down below. Uh, I absolutely love reading your guys' uh, comments and I reply to each and every one of them. 
So my friends, with that out of the way, I wish you a good night or day wherever you are and we will see each other on the next one. Stay safe and stay happy. Goodbye. Follow old shipping lines on social media. Thanks for watching.